Hey everybody, it's an absolutely ugly Monday evening, January 25th. It's Robbie Burns Day and National Opposite Day. It's now time for the wise girls and guy and Coach Carly. It's going to be a topsy-turvy ride on Opposite Day, so let go of your boots. And lastly, let's slide it over to Sir for Monday's Mystery. Well, we have the myth and mystery of Scotland's wild tiger. This creature is said to be the source of the iconic Scottish dish. So, if you believe haggis is an iconic Scottish dish, a sheep's stomach stuffed with special innards and spiced oatmeal, then no. But one humorous theory posts uh, that the haggis is not from a sheep, but rather it's a wild creature with four legs and a shaggy mane. So the legend surrounds this wild haggis, and according to the um, you know, expert source of the wild haggis, an unbalanced beast whose legs are of equal length, which enable it to lope about Scottish hillside with ease. So the physical dis- uh, depictions of the wild ha- haggis vary, but one museum has a specimen in a taxidermy display at Calvin Grove Art Gallery. In the museum in Glasgow, there's a lone wild haggis along, which is of course a shaggy short legged, and it's displayed beside a prepared haggis for comparison. And that black declares that this is the haggis scotticus for those who are into Latin. And of course, the fuzzy and fascinating wild haggis is real. That is the real mystery why we haven't seen more of them. Instead, um, one just has to settle for the plain old um, sheep's stuffed stomach for the, you know, average, um, you know, uh, viewing. Well, that really leads me to the real mystery for today, and that is when a thousand American tourists were surveyed, one third of them truly believed that the wild haggis existed. So let me read the famous poem, My heart is in the highlands, she strings on my bow to hunt the fierce haggis, man's awfulest foe. A wheel, a wheel may brain, a tear in his eye, for I shan't come back if the haggis hunts me dune. And those are the famed words of not Robbie Burns because his is owed to a haggis. So on that, I will leave you with Monday's mystery. Why do so many Americans believe in the second coming of Donald and the wee haggis? <laughs> You left us speechless, sir. <laughs> it's quite a learning journey. Indeed. So well, you're was, welcome. I was, I was free wheeling on the side. <laughs> it's all upside down today, sir. You're welcome. And it's time for Coach Carly. Let's welcome back Coach Carly with her health and wellness tips. Coach Carly, what is your tip of the week? Good morning. It's Coach Carly here to talk to you about... Um, exercises you can do at home with little to no equipment. So as we know, lots of us are working at home, are working from home right now and um, exercising at home as well. So you don't need anything, any fancy equipment. There's lots of things you can do using your own body weight. Uh, you can do squats and lunges and push-ups and crunches and tricep dips using a chair. You can do a lot of cardio options that they're using no equipment, like jump squats, burpees, jumping jacks, um, anything to get your heart rate going. Um, you can also use different things around your house um, to sort of emulate equipment from the gym. If you don't have any like hand weights, you can use um, cans of soup or big water jugs. Um, anything in a plastic container, anything filled in a plastic container, I should say. An empty plastic container won't really do the trick. Um, <laughs> you can use, if you don't have like a ball to use for any sort of mat work, you can use a rolled up cushion. Um, if you don't have bands, you could use, um, like if you're stretching or doing yoga, you could use a tie, a men's tie. There's lots of different options to get creative um, if you don't have equipment at home. And that's your weekly update from Coach Carly. Have a great day. Awesome. Thank you, Coach Carly. And it's now time with for Ventures with Ventura. Hey, Ventura, over to you with 
your ventures. What do you got for us today? So, um, I can't do this. I was just kind of, I was going to try to do venture. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> I can't do it the better. So, today is Motivational Mondays. And um, Lord knows we need it on a Monday. And I was trying to think of someone that has always motivated me. And I have a quote from Helen Keller. And the quote is, for those of you who don't know who Helen Keller is, Google it. I ain't telling you, Google it. Okay. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope. And so that is my quote for this beautiful Monday morning. <laughs> and I'm hoping for really minimal hours of edits with, uh, with today's show. <laughs> With the doorbell in the background. Let's slide it over to Tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what are you listening to today? You know, uh, I wanted to find a song that uh, speaks about young love, and I, I found this song. The song was actually written by Neil Diamond, right? But the song has been done by the Monkees and Smash Mouth, and it was made popular through a show called Shrek. And the tune is I'm a Believer. And I'm just gonna give you a couple words of this, out of the song. I thought was I thought love was only true in fairy tale, meant for someone else, but not for me. Love was out to get me, and that was the way it seemed. Disappoint, <laughs> disappointment haunted all my dreams. Then I saw her face, and I'm a believer, not a trick <laughs> of doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I can leave her if I try. So that's tune for today, guys. I'm a believer by the monkeys or Smash Mouth or Neil Diamond or whoever you want to go listen to. Beautiful tune. Wow, I'm just so relieved that Tamika finally sung for us. And remarkably, she sounds just like Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Tamik. That was awesome. Well, today is Day Opposite National, which celebrates a fun day of switcheroos. What better way to not celebrate? You don't really mean that. Or do we? Good morning, or is it good night? I'm cold, or am I hot? Great day for kids and adults to play along and break out of the winter blues. Maybe we should have dinner for breakfast, or breakfast for dinner. You may love some of the irony, or would you prefer the wrinkly? Speaking of opposites, there was a lady on the opposite side of the cashier at the grocery store. I said hi from a safe distance. It was lovely to meet her. <laughs> Insert laughter here. Thank you very much. Let's slide it over to Sir with the weather. I got a bit of a forecast for you today. Um, currently minus two, a bit chilly. Crawly all the way up to two later on. Bit of sun, bit of cloud, bit of snow coming for tomorrow. That's a bit of a forecast. Bit of a forecast indeed. You're welcome, sir. Well, that's interesting. Before we get finished up there uh, in this office today, I just wanted to know, does everybody have a pen and paper handy? Yeah, I did. You can I, say, I, will, I want you to write. I want you to write down these words because most people don't know the opposite of these words. I want to see how smart my team is. Are you ready? All right. Okay, the first word is always. Does anybody know the opposite? Never. Never. Second word is <clears throat> coming. Most people don't know the opposite. Going. Going. The third is from. Third is what? From. Two. Two. Next, take. Give. Me is the next word. Two. 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 And down is the final word. Most people don't know the opposite. Uh. Up. And when you can put, put them all together, you get. We're going to give up. Then we're going to give you up. Thank you, Rick Hosley. <laughs> <It's a challenge. laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rick Hosley. Thank you, goodness well hope you've enjoyed national opposite day to our enemies detractors enemies and benefactors thank you for listening have a great monday everyone again we are the wise girls and guy and coach carly leaving you smarter and happier if not somewhat more confused